A teacher has been fired from a Vancouver private school after expressing his opinion against abortion during a grade 12 law class. The teacher told the National Post's Christy Blatchford that he was using an example of how the law doesn't always agree with personal opinions on topics. Well, the Fraser Academy female student was triggered and went to administration to complain. Eventually, the teacher was fired. The school has remained silent and under a gag order, so we don't have any more details aside from the storyline discussed by the dismissed teacher. This did not sit well with anyone who believes in freedom of speech, especially when the circumstances around this teacher's firing seem to be based on an offhand comment and the fragility of a student around the topic of abortion. So yesterday, a handful of protesters stood outside of Fraser Academy, and here's what two of them had to say to me. I'm a liberal Democrat from the United States who lives here in Canada now. I'm a big free speech supporter. I'm outraged that any teacher would be fired simply for voicing an opinion. It, it, it just shocks me that that would happen. What, what bothers me the most about this is this is part of a broader picture. You see it happening at universities all over where conservative speakers are banned, where safe spaces are created, where there's trigger warnings. I'm a progressive and I am increasingly disturbed that conservatives are shut out of the dialogue um, on campuses and high schools and uh, have no voice. Well, a grade 12 student is so unprepared for a diversity of opinion on a subject of abortion that she was able to run to the administration and cause a teacher to lose his job. And uh, this is rather drastic, I would say, that if, uh, you know, so um, that, that's really what's brought us out because I feel it's so unfair, you know. Those two are right about one thing for sure. There is no doubt this is the kind of sheltering and protecting of students that we have been seeing across university campuses from trigger warnings and safe spaces to adult coloring books and the canceling of classes after the U.S. election results. Look, I hope that Fraser Academy wasn't contributing to the snowflake society. There could be more to this story. But we'll never know, of course, because Fraser Academy is not speaking out. As I said, everybody there is under a gag order. But maybe the female student had gone through an abortion herself and was actually triggered. We'll probably never know what was going through the school administration's mind when they came to the decision to dismiss the teacher. I also want to add that personally I have worked with Fraser Academy in the past and they're far from the posh private school that Blatchford describes. The school is known for working with kids with severe learning disabilities and is a very expensive school to go to because of the low student to teacher ratio. I'm 100% for free speech and healthy debate and the classroom is no different. But I am curious if there is more to this story than just a rich spoiled brat trying to get a teacher fired as originally suggested. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Thank you for watching. You know if you're a fan of our YouTube channel, well we actually have premium content and it's available for only eight dollars a month. You will see full-length shows from Ezra Levant, Faith Goldie, Lauren Southern, Gavin McInnes, and Tiffany Gabay. So just click up here and become a premium member today. And if you're feeling even more generous, in the Christmas spirit, say, well, check out our plans for the future at thebigplan.ca and see how you can contribute to Rebel Media's success going forward.